we're continuing to work on the front clip of the uh, 69 Mustang that we were doing before. You may notice in front of you the clip has been flipped upside down because uh, there's a lot of welding needs to be done on the bottom. The front frame, the front radiator support I attached at the top, but the bottom strut rod uh, brackets and the lower welding needs to be done with it upside down. So it's sitting on a couple furniture movers and everything is square. It's got the Monte Carlo bar, it's got the bottom brace, it's got the export brace bolted to it. So everything works out pretty, pretty, pretty true. Um, what we're doing today is I used a Blair spot well cutter to drill holes in the, in the, in the metal to allow me to plug weld through that metal to the substrate below it. Turn it back. You'll notice right here, there's two holes already drilled and the metal, the, the, the primer's been cleaned off underneath of them. Same way over here. The other welds on the top um, and the sides over here have already been done. That's pretty much holding it in place. Uh, so today we're gonna fit these and weld them using plug welds and the apron down the side. I've already pre-treated that by making holes and uh, taking my um, little rotary sander and uh, cleaning off the primer underneath that. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna weld these four right here and then we'll probably use some time lapse to uh, show this being done. How's that? Recorded it. I mean, good. Okay. Now I've welded these four right here. So the front core support, other than the side aprons, are. Uh, it, it's pretty firmly in. Uh, now we're going to drill some holes using the uh, Blair spot well cutter. It does a great hole and underneath of it it will give me an imprint of where I need to grind the uh, 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 primer off so that the uh, plug weld will uh, work properly. the holes through there that helps me align up with these indentations where I need to actually remove the primer um, and right here too um, I also have lines drawn that helps me place it back right there um, mainly because the factory weld 
actually had a little bit of a bead run right here. the wires right there and there's one the other one okay now we've got places to weld one two three four seven plus a bead here and a bead here let's get to it okay so we've got our holes drilled and we have the primer uh, removed underneath where the plug welds are going to be. Four here, three here. And we also have the, the primer removed on the leading edge and the trailing edge of this bracket um, to put the welds there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug weld these. This is pretty heavy, heavy gauge stuff. So I, I tend to go a little hotter on this. All right. Need to redo those welds right there. These are fine. It's an okay one. 
Um, now, what I'll do, now when I get through, I'll take this grinder and I will flatten out all these wheels. And uh, Can we see what you did? Sure. So I can see evidence of the weld on the back side of it. It means I got good penetration of the weld. Okay, let's set up for which side? We've got these welded on. I'm not the best welder in the world. Luckily, these will be under the car. But I'll take the grinder and, and, and dress them up some, make them look better. And then when you put black primer on them, they all look great anyway. Um, but structurally, I believe these are fine. We got the aprons welded in. Essentially, everything on this is welded right now. Um, it is waiting for the old to come off. Uh, you may notice the windshield is gone. I took that out last night. Um, I tried to save it, couldn't do it. It was a car light windshield, but it had a lot of scratches in it. So it's probably good that it's gone. Um, we'll be probably confirming a lot of measurements before we do any cutting here, but what for, my plan is to cut this part off first um, then the shock towers off and then we'll take the cutters and cut the uh, firewall out the first part of the floor and the torque boxes and we'll create a big void where uh, this will go uh, at that point we'll put the firewall back in uh, weld it in like it should be and that'll give us uh, our measuring points to install this and install the, uh, the upper braces right here, you see on each side, which will put us at, at our proper me measurement from, from here to the tip of the windshield. Um, I also have marks drawn on, on the upper cowl where the apron will sit. Hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll line up. Um, I gotta tell you, everything on this one went together real well. All the measurements worked out perfect um, according to this one. Of course, you know, they had a tolerance when they built them, nothing's perfect, but every number that I used off this one was the same off this one. Um, that basically does it for now. Uh, this is our fourth video. We're trying some new things. We're learning as we're going. Um, and your comments are appreciated, except, except for the welding. I, I'm, I'm learning on the welding. Hopefully I'll be a better welder by the time I'm through. Uh, I've gotta be. Um, but. But if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, I'd certainly like to appreciate it. Or any questions, uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can. I do appreciate, appreciate you watching, I really do. Uh, this is a lot of work, for, especially for my wife, who does the filming 
and the the editing and the, and suggesting to me how to behave and watch the camera. So thanks again for watching. Come back and see us next time. Thank you. Here's the top. Here's the top. Here's the top.